welcome to August 10th, the third work day of the week that we shall call it Tuesday. We have to make this a little quick this morning, or this afternoon. I'm later, I'm sorry if I'm putting out the YouTube a little later today, but James Bird, who furnished me the information, is having computer DSL problems and getting a little late. Yeah, he'll probably get things all straightened out for us. So with that, let's go on with the Lord Cares Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 221 of the year 2010. Jesus warns about preparing for his coming. And to do that, we'll go over to Luke chapter 12, verses 41 through 48. But first, brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down you can go study the whole context at your own leisure. You can also use the pause button in the bottom here to be able to start and stop this video so you have time to find the places in your own Bible. Okay, let's go over to Luke chapter 12 verses 41 through 48. Jesus warns about preparing for his coming. Peter asks, are you lot talking to just to us or to everyone? And the Lord replied, I am talking to any faithful. That means the one who follows my commandments. If you don't follow his commandments, he's not talking to you. Sensible men whose master gives him the responsibility of feeding other servants. If his master returns and finds that he has done a good job, there will be a reward. His master were to put him in charge of all he owns. But if the man begins to think, my Lord won't be back for a long time, and begins to whip the men and women he's supposed to protect, and to spend his time at drinking parties and drunkenness, well, his master will return without notice and remove him from his position, position of trust and assign him to a faith, place of the unfaithful. He will be severely punished, for though he knew his duty, he refused to do it. Your duty is to follow his commandments and pass it on to the other wishful knowledge. But anyone who is not aware that he is doing wrong will be punished only lightly. Much is required from those whom much is given, for their responsibility is greater. Watchful and faithful leaders will be given increased opportunities and responsibilities. The more resources, talents, and understanding we have, the more we are responsible to use them effectively. God will not hold us responsible for gifts he has not given us. But all of us have enough gifts and duties to keep us busy until Jesus comes. Future reward. Jesus promises a reward for those who have been faithful to the Master. While we sometimes experience immediate and material rewards for our obedience to God, this is not always the case. If it were so, we would be tempted to boast about our achievements and do good only for what we get. Jesus said that if we look for rewards now, we will lose them later. See Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Our heavenly rewards will be the most accurate reflection of what we have done on earth and they will be far greater than what we can imagine. Our need for daily prayer. Heavenly Father, send out the tidings of your salvations to the end of the earth. Be with your ministry servants who are engaged in preaching the gospel to others. Turn people's heart to Christ and make them obedient to the faith. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt bondfully with me. 
Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and His Son. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. The tradition of men says that the Ten Commandments were hung on that stake that Christ was on. Check your Bible. It was, that's not the case. The only thing that was put on there, only sign was on there, was King of the Jews. And it was in three different languages. Not my words. Look it up. It's there. It's a good, give you a good study. You will find the Ten Commandments all through the New Testament. Every one of them. Even go to Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12, I believe it is. I'd have to look that up. You will see that the saints were the ones that listened to Christ and kept the commandments of theos of God. Brethren, you want to be on that narrow path that gets to the kingdom and salvation. Get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness. And the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of the word that he sent to you. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great day. I know I have and will. Bye for now.